Hey, many fish. 24th of August, 2018. And I gotta say, uh, this, this can become overwhelming. I mean, almost to the point of troubling within me when so many things are being revealed that I, I cannot process the, the amount of, of gold that is being shown to us so just clearly and unmistakingly the times that we are in are it's closing in people that the time is getting to where you're not going to even have a choice once this hammer comes down you'll just be so preoccupied with your very survival and the survival of your family and just trying to evade the evil that is literally manifesting into this world and there's going to come a time where it's not going to be this slow boil it is just going to be bam upon us and you know if you're not ready it'll it'll just destroy you you know the only way to be ready is through jesus christ you need to indwell his holy spirit in order to understand and endure and be saved okay now i don't even know where to begin i, I truly don't i can just go down the line about the earthquakes the the storms all these things but the one thing that came across my uh, understanding here when i saw this it brought me back to uh, just the old days basically 9-11 and this is the craziest stuff, okay? We have Trump. Trump was elected on November 9th, 2016. 11 9, correct? Now, 9 11, 2018 happens to be, get a load of this. You, you can't make this stuff up. Happens to be exactly 96 weeks between the two, okay? 96 weeks. One year, ten months, three days. So we have our 69, 96, and we have our 311. Okay, this is what I see. And I'm like, that's crazy from 11-9 to a 9-11, and it happens to be 96 weeks. And why is 96 weeks important? Well, because if you remember, on 9-11-2001, that evening, after he was reading about the pet goat and planes and steel and everything else, he invokes Psalm 23 in a national address. And I'm not even going to play this. I'll link it, but I ain't going to play it. But Psalm 23 on 9-11. Let's fast forward 10 years. Actually, we can just fast forward one year. So I can illustrate to you just how much of a ritual 9-11 was. This is exactly one year later. I'm going to turn the sound down so you don't have to listen to these clowns. But they march out all their dignitaries with all their regalia. And they form an all-seeing eye right in the very footprint of where the towers fell. Okay? As a memorial. Everything is a memorial. And everything pulls on the heartstrings of those who don't understand they're being deceived okay so that was one year after 9 11 he reads psalm 23 on 9 11 and 10 years to the day obama invokes psalm 46 now you have to understand this is all regarding to the dna okay this is a natural and a spiritual thing we're dealing with here this is God and Satan. This is good and evil. This is the war that we all wrestle in. Okay? This is just plain and simple what it is. Okay? And without Jesus, without being washed of his blood, and becoming clean the 23. And what I mean by that is you have 46 chromosomes, two strands, 23 and 23. It's a good and evil struggle. You got to remember, I'm talking in a spiritual and a figurative and a literal sense, all at the same time. 
The 46 is the natural man. The struggle of good and evil. The 23 and the 23. When you are redeemed, when you are saved through the blood of Christ, you are separate. You become a new creature. 23 separate from the 46. You are no longer of this world. You're still in it, but you're not of it. You're separate, a new creature, 23. The rest of the world remains 46, the natural world, which Lucifer runs, okay? And why this is important, because as you progress in this, this pattern of 23, 46, you would naturally come to 69. Right? And the reason that's important is because when I was looking at this stuff and I realized that Trump was elected on 11-9 and 2-9-11 is 96 weeks, that kind of caught my eye and my spirit as well. And the 3-1-1, Revelation 3-1-1, so many things come into play here. Now, I don't even know how I can continue with this, but I'm going to try. There was an article that I came across not too long ago. And quite frankly, I don't even know how I came across it, but it was to do with the British mandate in Israel. Okay? That's what this wiki is here. And I'll, I'm going to link all this stuff. Mandatory Palestine. And when they were arranging this thing, it was they had to set up a council. So, in 1922, the Palestine Order in Council was established, a legislative council, which was to consist of 23 members, okay? Now, I can go on with this, but the reason I bring this up is because when they established this order, this legislative council, they did it. I'm not kidding you. I'm going to link all this stuff, the, the League of Nations, the Palestine Land Mandate, the report on the Palestine administration when the, when they form this, whereas the principal allied powers have agreed for the purpose of giving effect a provision of Article 22 in the Covenant of League of Nations and trust a mandatory selected by the... And they did this. The oaths of office for the High Commissioner and Commander-in-Chief for Palestine were administered at Jerusalem on September 11th, 1922. And that brings us exactly 96 years later. It's right here. 9-11-1922 to 9-11. Exactly 96 years. Okay? Why does that matter? Well, because I see this pattern that this is a, a God showing us what Satan is doing. And in turn, we know what God is doing. Right? Because he's over it all. He's just showing us the times. We're seeing the signs. We're, we're watching this manifest before our eyes. Okay? So the 69, the 96, when what you saw here with the 69 days, that goes right back to the 4th of July. And I'm telling you, if I could trace my steps and tell you how this all comes to me, I, I would. But to me, it's basically irrelevant. All I know is it comes to me, and it's obviously giving us a very clear illustration of this this uh, manifestation leading up to a climax of sorts, right? And it's all pointing to 9-11. So, I mean, I just randomly searched for an article pertaining to the 4th of July because I saw that it was 69 days exactly prior to 9-11. And I come across this article as the first one, right? Get a load of this. 98 million, 17 people were under heat advisories. 17 is what I mean, that 9 and 8. And this article was posted on the 4th at 737, which is also a 17, so on and so forth. It was updated at 1119 on the 5th, 911. And I'm scrolling down, and I mean, the stuff that we could get into pertaining to the Statue of Liberty is beyond measure. I mean, it's crazy. Look at this image right here and, and help me understand what it is I'm seeing because I know it's something because my spirit just went, that means something right there. And we see this woman, this 44-year-old woman, Okowomo, if you, you must all remember that. I'll link this. 
under the heel of the Statue of Liberty. And the first thing that comes to my mind is, you know, he shall bruise thy head and I shall bruise his heel, right? Which is amazing because you see this here, this Genesis 6-3. Well, that just happened to be one of the most recent random Bible verses that pulled up on me. I kid you not. This is the stuff that happens to me, you guys. Totally random. Genesis 6-3, And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he is also flesh. And his days shall be 120 years. 120. The same amount that it is from Sept uh, May 14th, when Israel celebrated their independence, 70th year, to 9-11. is 120 days. 17 weeks and a day. I mean, come on. There's just too much, too much piling up here for me to ignore. So, I mean, the 69, the Statue of Liberty, I don't know what to make of that. But it all fits into something really big here. And I'm just spewing it out to you guys to, you know, put it out there. You know, 96 years prior to September 11th, they, sign, they all swear to this oath. And that, we don't even know what the oath is. In Jerusalem, on September 11th, 1922, which pulls us 96 years later. <laughs> oh, I hope I'm not repeating myself. Then we have Bush, September 11th, 2001, Psalm 23, Obama, Psalm 46, September 11th, 2011. 17 years later, here we are now. And we're looking for this pattern, Psalm 69, cry out to God, because that's what people need to do. I mean, really, folks, this is what needs to be done, is a crying out to God. Because you don't want to become this creature of this world, because you're just signing on to eternal darkness and separation from God. And that's just, I mean, even to think about that is a nightmare. You don't want to live this stuff, okay? I mean, the craziness that I show you, all these connections to these various places on the maps, I mean, it's all real. I mean, I can't I can't sit here and say that it's not real. These are connections that I've seen that are on the map that I got to show you. I have a bunch of stuff that I want to show you pertaining to that. That map continues, you guys. I just was looking at it and saying... There's no way. I mean, this there's like this is just getting almost silly. But you know, then I pray on it and I understand that you know God is pouring out so much on us that there is no way that we could keep up. And that's why as a body we are able to each of us process and share a piece of everything and God just draws out the big picture so that we we understand it in our spirit the times we're in the closeness of his coming we know what's coming and you know i just have to spew out like this and hopefully you know this makes sense because there's no way around it that i mean so many things point to this and again i i have more to show you but you know i just i gotta i gotta get going right now but Trump exactly 96 weeks before 9-11. That is crazy. The 311. I'm just recapping. So I make sure I give it to you the best I can here. The 69 days to the 4th of July with the woman under the foot of the, you know, basically Satan on a pedestal there. I mean, that's what it might as well be. Statue of Liberty. Yeah, licentious liberty. That's what it is. And ironically, if you look in 1922, I just want to show you this. In the Israeli calendar, in 1922, when they swore this oath on 9-11, it was the same exact uh, time frame as this year. September 10th to 11th, Tishri 1. Same everything. It's the same setup in 1922 as it is this year and i don't know how often that happens but that's pretty crazy okay so all this stuff all all of it links together and there's a whole bunch more you guys there's so much more that i just want to share with you and i'm going to to the best of my ability 
But I have to tell you, you know, if you don't know Jesus Christ, you really need to call on him. Ask him to show you the truth. That's all you got to do with an understanding that you can't figure this out, that you or no man, there is not a single man, not George Bush, not Donald Trump, not any man that can get you out of here and figure out an escape from this wickedness that's encompassing the world. Jesus Christ is the only door. It's just that simple. Call on him. Call on him. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 